let's get out actually to our audience. Let's Jessica has a question for, for you now, mm -hmm. Shy. Jessica, what would you like to ask Shy? Hi, Shy. Thanks Hi. for taking my uh, question today. Um, I'd really like to change my kitchen. It's very country, uh, oak cabinets, uh, and I've got a lot going on, and I'm wanting it to be very modern. I'm hoping you can give me some advice. Absolutely. Just I like her. Just she's like her. She's not country. She's modern. You know, we got this question in advance. Thank you so much for that, Jessica. So Jessica's a cop, so I'm going to answer this oh, really hey. carefully. <laughs> really, really carefully. <laughs> and it's also Jessica's birthday this month, by the way. So happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jessica. Yes. Jessica! <laughs> Alrighty. She's like, thanks, Mom. <laughs> thanks for outing me. Alrighty. So I, I think the challenge that you're having here, Jessica, is that there's a lot of different finishes and there's a lot of visual interest. So your husband, I believe you said, just redid the stonework on the eye, on the uh, peninsula. You just did the backsplash, just did the countertops. So there's a lot going on. The granite is really visually interesting. The, the stonework is visually interesting. The, bas the backsplash is visually interesting. So I think what we need to do is kind of whew, take a breath down and kind of calm stuff down a little bit. So I really like the the overall feel that you have in this space. You have this great reclaimed barn door here on a glider. I think that's fantastic. Mm. And I think that this is really gonna be our inspiration point for what we're gonna do. Your, your cabinets are solid oak. And I asked you that question because this is important. In, in lieu of painting, I'd rather stain them. I think that um, Benjamin Moore does a great product that you can choose any one of their colors and they will actually tint a stain for you. So it's, it's a lot more uh, reclaimed, a lot more natural, a lot rawer look. And I think that that will really tie mm -hmm. everything in quite nicely and kind of get rid of that honey look that's really awful and difficult to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, not awful, <laughs> difficult to work with. Difficult to work with. Excuse me, yes, right. I didn't mean awful. Right. I, I get you. <laughs> okay, so base cabinets and upper cabinets, I'd like to do different colors. And I think for the base cabinets, I'd like to choose, this is uh, Benjamin Moore Storm. So it's a really nice gray, but it's more of a, it's a warmer gray. It's a new, it's 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 a lot warmer, not as cool is as some opaque, grays can. Or is it translucent at all? So, well, it, this you can do in a stain. So you can okay. actually choose a color and it will be translucent. So it'll be a lot softer, you'll still see the green and the oak, which I think is going to be really nice. And then for your uppers, I've chosen Benjamin Moore Steam. So you see these two colors together, they're really nice. It's, it's a really nice combination. They're not so stark that they don't work with one another, but they're nice and somber and work nicely together. In terms of, you know, we talked about the stonework, the countertop, and the backsplash. I think one of those things needs to change. And because you just did the stonework and you just did the backsplash, I'm going to try to make your life as easy as possible and say to change the countertop. Now, the countertop is going to be a little bit of an investment, but we can go two ways. I went to Seattle and chose this great kind of neutral stone mm, here. Lovely. It's beautiful. This mm -hmm. is a little bit more of an investment. If you don't want to do something like this, I'm a huge fan of doing concrete countertops. Mm. So that's, it's just going to be poured right into a mold on your, on your countertop and it's going to be really industrial. It's going to play off that barn door that you have there. And I think that that's going to pull everything in really, really nicely. How is concrete if you're using that, uh, if you're using that as an island? Yeah. Is it good for absorbing? absorbing materials? Does it stain? Okay. Like, or is it super low maintenance? I don't find it stains. No, no. You know, no. I have concrete countertops. Yeah. I had in my old place too. So in my old place, uh, we had darker countertops. They were a lot easier to care for. In our new yeah. place, the, the gentleman that did our concrete countertops forgot to steal them, oh. seal them for us. And oh. he told us they were. So, and then I put down a glass of red wine and well, there's the ring. <laughs> the oh. glass of red wine. So, so you, you have to be, sealed. you have to steal, you, you have, have to, to seal them. them. You have yeah. to seal them. But like any, any like marble. Stones, exactly. Yes. Same thing, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. And the look is flawless. And then just don't be crazy, crazy in the kitchen. Exactly. You know, right. we don't clean food. <laughs> we don't clean food. Glasses and like no food fights. <laughs> no food fights. <laughs> <laughs> I got it.